Uh, so what's up guys uh, this is your boy Nick from 3d animation and I decided to do this video as um, a very good uh, beginning tutorial for the 3d animation and to let you get started with the 3d animation and like you can see on my computer uh, I have not opened any software because uh, this is one hour of you getting started with the 3d animation and I want to take you through the various things that you need to know about the 3D animation, um, how you can get started, where you can get your material, what is exactly what a 3D animation, uh, what the difference between 3D animation and 2D animation, and what we, we shall look for many things. So I cannot uh, state everything at the beginning of this tutorial uh, because we, we need to uh, be able to move as we continue we have to learn so many things for this tutorial so this is just one hour of you getting started with the uh, 3d animation and character creation and also uh, 3d modeling so uh let me just start by uh, in google and search exactly what is a 3d animation i just wanted and the google defined the 3d animation as the as uh, 3D as uh, is the process of creating three dimension moving images and digital environment. So uh, the thing is that uh, if let me just go back here to my software that I'm going to use a lot, which we call the Character Creator 3. A Character Creator 3 is a 3D uh, character creator. So if you look at this character, we have like the 3D uh, three dimension. So if I uh, let me first of all select this character here. If I select this character and I make, let's say I just want to move this character. And if I come here down, let me show you. Or if I try to move this character on top and then I want to move it, I'll, I just rotate it a bit. And then I click this again. You can see that I have three dimension here. This is Y axis. This is X axis, the red one. And the green one is the Z axis. So this is what we call the 3D character. A character of the 3D has to have the 3D dimension. Like you can also see here on the move, like we have right now our character is on zero axis, uh, zero X axis, zero Y axis, and zero Z axis. So if we just rotate, like our character is also rotated on the a zero x axis zero y axis and zero z axis so this is what we call a 3d character a 3d character is just like a human being in in reality where we have the height we have the width and we have the length so every time you think about the 3d animation or when you see in the internet what is 3d animation you have to think about 3d animation as a uh, you just having to animate in an env environment where this environment has the three, di three dimensions. And so many people confuse themselves from the 3D animation and 2D animation. So I have just opened my software here. This is also a cartoon animator and cartoon animator, they do a lot the uh, 3D animation and also the 2D animation. So what is happens on the... Um, on the cartoon animator so like if let me just go and look for the character and they show you how like they have the three uh g3 which uh g3 which is 360 this is a character like if i just open this is a character which is a uh, 3d if i double click you can see like this character is the it's a character which are uh, mostly it's a 3d character but if you look at this character we cannot do the same like this no let me see whether we have you see you cannot rotate this character like the way we were doing it here here when we click it on this one we can be able to see our character back and side but when you come to the cartoon animator there's no this option for the, the 3d so what the cartoon animator does to make this character look like a 3d they always have a three-sided character one character looking on the front the other one looking on the side and the other one looking at the back so let me just show you something here i just wanted to put this one first of all at zero and if i just want to have this character now i want to see the 
like the Z axis. So what is just going to happen is that I can just click this one here and let's see what is going to happen. And now, now you can see now we have two character. One character is looking on the front, the other one is looking on this uh, a bit on the side, not too much. And also like we can, if I just do like this one and I click this one, um now we can you can see now we have like the three character and this is what we call um a 2d uh, animation software a 2d animation software they concentrate too much on the two dimension that's the x axis and the y axis so on the 3d and 3d animation software they have the 3d dimension that's why they have the uh, z axis they have the y axis and the uh a Z axis. Yeah, I think I did not confuse anything there between. So now the difference is like for this character, like if I want to animate this character, let me just go. Maybe I have some. Um, animation like a sit. You see this character can only sit, but this character can never rotate this character on the front. The same thing here, if I just want now to see this character when sitting on the front, I can only use this two dimension character here. And maybe I tell this character stay to, maybe to dance. And this character will dance on two dimension, the same thing here. But let's go back here to our uh, 3D character here, which we are mostly concentrating on. And maybe we decide to set this one. This is a character creator where we create our own character. You can get this software. I'm just going to show you where you get this software. It's a paid software. You can buy it and you get a lifetime uh, license. So you don't need to start uh, renewing every month. When you just buy it for one month, you get everything included. So this is what just is going to happen. So what is just going to happen? Like, I just want to say this one now to the software I used to animate it. On this one, you cannot animate. Maybe you just make a creator and do some post. But if you want to animate, you just set this character there. To the icon, it's called icon. And this, those two software, they work together. Like, they communicate together. And once you set a character to the icon, now you can now be able to do some animation. Now you see now you have this character. The software look almost the same, but this is now animation software. So now if you look at this character, like if I rotate it, it's a 3D character. She look uh, so much of a human realistic character. If you I zoom, like if I click J and you look at the eye, the mouth, they look most like a human being. Most of the 2D character, they, they are cartoons. They don't look like human being. And if you want to see the 3D um, view, you can just click there. This one will show you the 3D dimension. And, but you cannot like see it like the, what do you call? Like on the this software here where we see this character where we just zoom and then we can rotate this character. So those are the different that so many people, they just confuse when they are trying to look for a 2D animation character and a 3D animation character. So uh, now there are so many things also involved like, like this one when you do the motion, you see this character is just dancing on the same position on the 2D dimension. And using this one, you can only use to make something like cartoons, you cannot make like a human realistic character. But our 3D dimension gives this uh, as this possibility. Let's say I want this character to start dancing. Let me just put him a bit on front. And I want to see this character dancing. So maybe I just come here, just choose for the motion. And you can get all those everything here. I'm just going to show you how you can get them, how you can be able to use them on your software. And that will just help you, like, if you just want to get started. I've done, like, more than 200 videos now trying to show people how to get started on the 3D animation, try to make character, making your character look more realistic. I've done amazing things on my website. So you can just check on them. If you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and just click on notification button to get the notification, like, when you just want to see it. So now we just want, wanted to add some motions here. And I'm just trying to look for the motion because I have so many motion. And maybe I have this one here. And 
maybe I just go like alone. Let's see what I have like when it's alone, whether we have somebody who is uh, dancing or maybe you can try somebody who is uh, doing some telephone. And if I play this one, now you can see this part, this girl is trying to do some um, talking and with a phone and everything. But if you look at this character, it's like he, the character is moving um, all, all like all, all, all way the way out. So I just wanted to add something like, let me just go here and try to see because I have some dancing motion where we can also use and to preview this character. And I have this one here. Let's see. We have some dance motion here. I have so many here. You, uh, you, I, I can I will do a video to show you how to get those. And then I put just like one there. And maybe I just cross this up because I don't need and now I make this one dance. And now you can see my girl is dancing. She's looking to all the sides. And this is now like the things. That's why we concentrate more on the 3D character. And we try to, it's not, it's not that we hate the 2D character, but there's so many things you can do with the 3D characters that you cannot do with the uh, 2D characters. So now, uh, before now I continue, just this is what just was first of all to explain the, what is a 3D character between the different between the 3D character and the 2D character. Now I just want to go back to show you where you can get those softwares and the kind of software that you um, you can use to make like those characters. The one that I'm using here, the Icron, is so simple to use it and it's free. But there's also the uh, no, not free is paid. I am so sorry. This one is a paid software. But I also know some other very good softwares that you can. I uh, use them to make you a 3D character, and they are free. So I, I'm just going to show you the software like now. So like now, let me just first of all show you to try to get those software, and how to know whether it's a 2D uh, the 2D character software or 3D character software. So let's now go to the, my website here. I just show you something. Uh, here, like you can see, um, uh, the icon they have. Uh, I just you have their character cartoon animator, which I I don't use this too much because I concentrate too much on the 3D animation. That's what I do a lot. And like you click here, you they show you the 3D animation. Like you have icon and character creator, and then we have the 2D animation that is cartoon animator for so whatever we are using here is the icon that you can click here the best thing about the icon and before i bought it i used to use it as a free trial which you can get it for 30 days uh do it they have so many tutorials also where they're trying to show you uh how you can get started with the icon and how you can do with it so just click here if you want a free trial you will download it if you want to buy it, it costs some uh, like a dollars. Let me show you how much dollars it costs. Sometimes they have some offers. You can just check on them and they just show you the offer they have for the Icron. And if you just buy it and so, yeah, like now the, um, uh, the Icron, this one is an uh, upgrade price if you already have an Icron. But if you don't have any a uh, icon you need to you have to pay it for 129 dollars so this is the this software that you're going to get it here this is what we call the icon but the other thing that you as you if you just download the software you're going to learn so many things like you have the, when you get the software you can get it, it come with some the free character that you can uh, get started and just doing some your animation and going but sometimes you just need some unique you don't need everything that everybody have on the software so, excuse me. So, if you just go to their market, like they have some plugins. So, some people they decide to buy for all this one here. So, if you buy this one, they have so many everything you need to get started with animation. They have something like a headshot, which I'm just going to show. I have already a headshot here. This is a what you call the headshot. You just need to drop a photo here. We can do this, or like we can take a photo from a famous person, drop it there that we are going to use. And from this photo, like, oh, yeah, let's just, let's just do this one before we continue. Let me first of all check this character. I make him a man, and then we maybe we can uh, try to look for someone like, uh, we, we just go to the internet, then I'll show you who we are going to look. So so we have the full body, and then you can, like you see here, we have a lady of a girl. If you just need to load a new character, 
Those they come every when you buy this software they call the Carter Creator. Let me show you this software before I continue. This software, the one that we saw here, uh, here on the product, the Carter Creator. If you just click the Carter Creator, you also buy it for allowed one hundred and ninety nine. They have two like two two of them. One is a pipeline, and the other one is Carter Creator for Icron, which they, you have some limitations. So if you want to buy the Carter Creator three, just go for the pipeline. Pipeline will help you to be able to use like other software. So as we are continuing, you have to learn so many things from this tutorial. This is a one hour of you getting started with 3D animation, where you have to start getting started with the other software that I don't want to mention them at this moment. I just want to mention them as we are continuing. So this is a very important tutorial. I've been looking for the time to do this tutorial, guys. So please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. So um, this is a free trial. Also, like the way we have this is a Carter Creator and like Carter Creator and measure for games, like you can make Carter for the games, uh, AR on virtual reality. So if you just need to buy it, you can also use it for 30 days, which uh, you just can only make Carter, but you cannot save them. And for this one, you also pay like uh, $199. So this one has also like some its own plugins, but the reason why I told you like if you just want to buy everything, you need to buy this one. Like if you, if you look at this one here, you have the headshot, you have the cutter creator, you have the icon, and also you have the skin gen, which the skin gen will make your cutter more, more realistic. So those are software, you use them, but if you are the beginner, I would also first of all advise you to get the cutter creator and the icon, and then if you have enough money, like you have $890, you can just get everything and then you start now looking for the tutorial. And you can do amazing things like you can make music videos. I've been using, making so many music videos you can watch on my YouTube channel. I've been making so many like animation videos, but for mostly for me, I consider with the tutorial. That's what I do good. And you can also do amazing. We don't, so many people, you have some own uh, and the thing is that if you just get started, you just need to get started and start making your own money using those softwares. So now we let's go back to our character creator. And now we want to change this one to be a man. So maybe I can just click one of that man here. If you just book click, it will ask you to apply, just say apply. And this might take some minutes and Let's wait and see. And now you have your, wait a minute, it's not already done. Oh, yeah, uh, the man is done, but they, we, we forgot to say that doesn't, <laughs> it replaces the cloth and everything. So now you see the face is a man face. So we can just delete the everything here. So what you do, I do good that I go to the scene. And then you can now see this one, like you can see the bottom, just click delete on your computer. And when it's deleted there, it's also deleted. Now we have the dress. And now we can click delete on our computer. And now also we have the this bra here. You can double click it or you can click it here and then click delete. And now we maybe we can just go back here and we try to dress our man so that we don't have a man without clothes. So we can just put one of those clothes that I can underwear. And now we have our man. So our thing thing here, we wanted to use the headshot to make this man look like a famous man like the one we know. So let me just go back to my to the, my internet. And what I, you can just do, you can just come here. Maybe let me take someone like a very famous, someone like um, there's, there was this guy who was singing so good. He was, he used to say like, he, uh, uh, what do we call it? Um, William uh, America AGT. Aquarium, yeah, exactly. This guy is the one that I was looking here. And this is what we are going to make. We will try to make we Aquarium like uh, we can take, uh, I'm not going to use any music because of the copyright and everything, but we can try to make this guy look exactly like that. So let's go to the images and see what we have here on the images. And maybe we take one of this photo look a bit good. I will show you how we are going to do this photo. We can take this photo to the Photoshop and maybe when we take this Photoshop, we can 
uh, so we just let's just take this one first of all and save this photo uh, as PNG your yeah, PNG is good just save it on your computer then close this one then come here open where this photo is let's see how it's going to look like and let's go to my download that's where everything comes and then when we drop this photo here now you can see like you have this photo so this is what we call the headshot now our aim here is to make our character look like aquariums and what now we are going to do is that um let's go we can just he doesn't have the hair so the character we just need the body the current body that is on the that one he doesn't have hair so we can make his look a bit old so let, let make the can laugh a bit laugh don't scrap on the beard he doesn't doesn't have the beard or everything and then look at this one you have the auto and pro if you just want to make a headshot just try to use the pro version so just click generate and this is where the magics happen so this is why one thing i like about the character creator because you can have ideas and you can make your ideas to the reality and it's amazing it's amazing like I'm, I'm going to tell you if you use this software you uh, you just find a new way of just creating and becoming so creative I've been using this software for more than two uh, one and a half year let me just talk the truth one and a half years now and I don't like this is for me like uh, I don't know what like a, a cup of coffee every time I don't use this software every day I feel I'm missing something because it's a very amazing software. So um, as we are waiting for this, I can just grab a copy of, a copy of coffee. So let me just drink something because we have one hour to learn the 3D animation. We still have a very long way to go, guys. So uh, this one is yet almost now done now let's see let's see now i want to show you the magic happen now look everything went to good look at the face he looked the same the only thing that they said a bit different is that we can make this character look exactly the same we can put the same kind of cloth we can make this character look exactly the same way so and look at this face look at the character the eyes look the same everything and that was just in a matter of minute so the other thing you can do like we just come here down and i should do something here like i don't want the scrap uh there's somewhere here and what i do is that i do some delights by doing the delight we make the character skin look more smooth so i can just update the skin let me see the magic this is i'm telling you if you get those softwares you're going to do the amazing things this is just one one hour one hour of you getting started with 3d animation and i don't think we are now almost 10 minutes and we have done so many amazing things this is so amazing so let's see what's going to happen I'm just waiting for this one to finish. It's almost done. And now look our character, guys. Look at this character. And now this is the character that we have. Now what we are just going to do is that we can maybe decide to make this character. I we use this body, but maybe we can change him to make him uh we uh, what if i just do like i can come on this photo here and try to look how he look like like he look a bit uh not so this cut is a bit thing so we can go to the full body and then we go to the maybe uh to this man neutral man and try to make him just a bit big with some muscles exactly and now we have our own character that is looking so amazing here and now what we can do is just now to start dressing this character and let's just dress this character and we see 
So by dressing, I'm going to use, I have some profession clothes, like for me, I have this one, the profession outfit, which I, you can also get out in the smart colorly. Uh, I can show you here to buy this one. This one, I also bought it. And it makes my work more easier if I just want to do anything. Like I just want this one here. I can just come and see maybe they have some suits. So I'm trying to check on it. Like they have this suit here. So you just double click. Um, no, 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 no. Let's just cancel because I know what they want to do. Let's just do everything. Like let's just come here to the uh, shirt. I just want to go to the profession. Let's see what we have, the long sleeve. And uh, maybe we can put him... Um, Let's take one of this or like this one. So like if you see here, every time I want to put a cloth, what is just going to happen? They are going to ask me like, keep the cross shape or fit the body. So I just say fit the body and then I just say okay. Then say default, I just say okay. And then it's just going to happen automatic. This is the best thing. Like you don't need to go to some software. You just have to create everything from zero. This software make your work more easier. It makes you like you can make a character like you can now look. Here's already a, a shot. Now let's go to the pants. Also the profession one here. Let me just go here. And let's see the suit. No, that one's scrub here. All struck. And maybe we can choose. We can choose like one of this one here. Also say fit the body and say okay and then default because this one is uh, either a t-shirt or a trouser or a shirt or whatever it's not a dress say okay and then wait for the magic to happen so this is those are the things that they make me every time i'm using this software i'm so like oh my things happen so like uh white cloth white cloth white cloth i don't like too much the white cloth so let's just try to change like bro so they just ask you to press the same way fit because I like to the cross to fit the character. So whatever this software is just going to do, it's just going to form this cloth and so we have this one there. And now this this trouser look good like. Now what is missing is only uh, like a coat. Let's just go to the profession uh, outfit. You can just check this one. If you just look here on the top, uh, I, I went to the content and then here there's a press where they show the cloth and this way now you get the cloth. If you just need the makeup, just click the makeup. You just get the makeup there. If you just need the, uh, like uh, something they call the skin gen, this is whatever. Whenever I showed you this, I showed you, let me just go to this website here. I'm sorry because sometime, every time, if I don't say these things like now, sometimes I forget on the future to tell you. They have this one they call the skin gen. Let me show you. Detail. Uh, the skin gen skin gen premier if you just click this the skin gen premier will help you to make your cutter look more human realistic but when you buy the cutter creator the cutter creator has its own skin gen way which that you can also use to make those character look the way you want them to see and that's why you find that when we uh, dropped our image on the headshot we were able to make our character look more human realistic so now we have this one here look like you can make, you can make your character look like this one it's amazing like you can also make some zob you can put some tattoos you can you can do amazing things like you can make you have also some free bonus human anatomy it's amazing but when you, you just have to buy this one i think they said it like something like 200 and something dollars but it will be so profitable to you and um character creator pipeline uh, you think you have to buy it with the cutter creator together but you can uh, this one the human digital creation 499 dollars because this one is amazing you can make very good character put some tattoos make your character look like the zombies put some that you can do amazing things using this software so um i wanted to put some uh, so i was here on my cloth and we wanted to business suit let's see what we have we can just take this on the brew one let's let's say that we want this one to fit and then say okay okay then just wait for the magic to happen
and now our character is, our character is fully clothed and let me click my j that is the shortcut that i use if you want to know the shortcut like if you click g the cutter will be zoomed on your front and then here they have some i think here they can show you f is front right is s top is g left is a bottom and then we have the b is uh, d is da, uh, back like if i click d i, I can see the uh, the back side uh, j is face and k if i click k you can see all so those are the shortcut that you can use them that you use a lot so what i wanted now we we are remembering something else we don't have the shoes so let's try to put some shoes so I think I have some shoes. Yeah, I have some official shoes. I also have some professional shoes, like I have some basket, I have the canva. We can also use this one if you, uh, we also have some leather shoes. Yeah, this is also amazing. Like I have all those types. We can try to put in this one. And now see what is going to happen to our character because everything is happening is, is amazing. Like, um, So now see we have our character he has some shoes we can also see like i can try to move this character here and see how these shoes look like the shoes fit the character very good like one of the best thing like is happening right now so now we can click k like we say to see everything now there's something that is remaining for our character here we don't have a tie and but i also have a tie like if i go to my others here then i go to my profession outfit i open it and now i have so many things i have so many things on my computer but you can get them on the um you yeah, there's a tie let's put him this one here because whenever i saw him he had a, a tie that was a bit lead So if guy you are watching this video and you like whatever i'm doing please don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification button to see everything so let's now go back to our headshot the difference was that we have some different kind of growth and this is for me not a problem if you just need this material what i just do i just go to the google and then i can just come here and say i want a a suit a, a suit the somewhere i saw texture um texture so texture to the google and then we try to look for which one is closer you can just go to the images and try to see which one look uh almost the same like the one we have uh, let's see this one because sometimes I forget the color. I'm not so good with the colors. Uh, this look like uh, gray, something like gray. Uh, let's select here gray. And see which one and then go back to the... Uh, maybe this one is cross-related. Let's see whether this one is going to fit good. So just what I just do is that I just come and save this photo here. It has to be a JPEG. So if I don't uh, uh, save the JPEG, it's not going to fit good. So this one is not, uh, this one is good. So let's see what we have here. Now this one is the same one. I like this material and it's the it's not a good um it's not the same like the one that i want it's not a jpeg this one is also not a jpeg let me just light here uh j that's something i'm not uh let me so sorry for this one, but we are going to get one that we will like. So
So uh, don't know why I'm not getting one that is good. It has to become a, a it has to be a PNG, a PNG texture or a JPEG texture. That is the one that is going to do the work that I want. So I have been using this one for a very long time. And I know if I don't do that one, so it will be just a zero work. So the best thing is just to come here and check. Um, let's see down here, maybe we get one which is uh, almost close to what we are looking for. And I'm so sorry for this one is clear here. Maybe we can try this one and see. Yeah, exactly. This one is a JPEG. And maybe you can also see this one because this one look a bit closer to what we are looking for. This one is not a JPEG. And this one is also a JPEG. So now we have two images so we can go back to our character creator when our jacket is selected if you just want to know your jacket is just selected you have this one business suit just click it here then go on to this point here the, this one here the shaker board and then go because it will show you the material that was used to make this a uh, suit so you can just click diffuse go choose the uh, uh, the material click select and now you have your suit what I just like to do is that I can also add the bump to and then just say OK. And now you have your suit, which is a bit gross. Maybe we can try to play with the brightness or the contrast. And try to make it look more like what we had. So that's why you try to make your character suit look almost the same. You can just take your time and look for the material that you want to make for your animation. So now um, we can make the suit the same. But for me, for this tutorial, let me just first of all use the same suit that we had. The coat. If you just want to do this one, you can just control Z. Or just say undo if you click undo because I've made so many changes everything is just going to be the same like the way we had for our power we meet remember we did so many changes so we have to say undo until we get the light suit that we had in the beginning this is a suit or we can do this one if you we think this one we have also have another suit here like if I just come to the uh, jacket coat 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 business business suit maybe we can choose this one here sell press and then fit the body say okay and then just wait for This suit to change, or this one here also repress. You can just try, or you just use the other method that I showed to go to the website, check for the material that you want for your suit, and when you get the right material, you can uh, be able to share this material to what you want, and this will help you also. Ah, uh, this look good. I like this suit a bit for his skin color and whatever. Maybe I just use the same for the uh, skirt pants. Let me just go to the pants profession. And then we have the rack because I think we have also this one here. And then say you want to replace. Okay. And guys, you see how it's easy to make your character look more shiny. So, yeah. Yeah, that is not. Let's just leave him the same way he is. Not bad. 
not bad. So now we have our character, which we have the same. Now, the other thing we can do with that, we can try to shake on the eyes and the mouth. If you look at those eyes, they look a bit fake. Just look at the eye. So you can just come here. I think here. No, oh, where do we get? Oh, so here. And then you have some eye. You have some different kind of eyes. Like you can look for the eyes. Uh, exactly. And maybe we can choose these eyes here. And then you say that you want to repress. And now this guy, eyes look more for human being. The same thing we can do for the teeth. I like to shade my teeth and put them this on the game teeth because of and then you can just try like uh, open the mouth and see how the teeth look like so that's how you make your character look more good and then make your mouth crossed so now we can put this on and now we go back to our headshot and try to see he look a bit sad, I think. He, this is the story because this guy, he has a very big story. Like he was convicted for 41 years. You know, that's not a joke. And he made it to the finals in the uh, American God Tarot. I like this guy because his story was so touching. You can just check him on the uh, website. And just for me doing this uh, image for him, I like, I, you know, it's just like, yeah, showing appreciation to him because... It's not easy for somebody to get convicted for 41 years and then you just come back and you still have hope to do like music and everything. So now we have our character here. And now this character, now we want to uh, set it. The, the good thing about character, let me show you something. If you want to make this card like for your game, you have everything you need on this software here so what you just need to do is just come here let me first of all i select the character just make sure that the whole character is corrected and then you can convert this to game based character but because now we are not making a game character i'm not just going to do anything i'm just going to leave it the same way it is and then what i'm just going to do is that we can just we can decide to export this character if you just decide to export you can export as an fpx and look what you can do with exporting this cut as fpx you can export this to the targeted tools like for the maya you have 3d max you have unit 3d you have unreal agent you have the motion builder you have the breader which is free you have the cinema 4d uh, uh, uh r18 and before and cinema 4d r18 2019 you can do amazing things like you can decide to export it as fpx if you just want to export this one as um, something like, let's say like an iAvatar or OBJ. OBJ is mostly used uh, like for the um, uh, ZBrush, which ZBrush is also connected with the character creator. That's the amazing things about this one. You can just come, you just need to click here at GoZ. If I click this one, it's going to open for me. Let's wait and see. ZBrush automatic. And... I can start now doing some modification on ZBrush from my character. That's why I like using the software I told you. If you get this software, you just pay for $199. Some people say it's expensive, but I promise you, I don't think you're going to get any software you can uh, be able to, like this one is ZBrush here. And let's wait till that is finished to open. Now you see now you have your character here. Let me hide this one here. Just click this character and then when you drag. You have your cousin click edit. And maybe you can move this character there and maybe scale. And now you have this character direct. So you can do some modification if you want to do anything. And when you are done, just click go Z. Set your character back to the character creator and then do your modification. That is one thing. The second thing is that now we have made our character. So let me first of all set this character to the icon. Like we said, this is our icon here. And you see it's going to replay this character in less than a minute.
so you see now you have your character everything is made and pressed everything look amazing and he can dance look there's no tearing of the cloth there was an, a, a bit mistake because the motion we made was for a woman and maybe you can just come here check on our desktop go to the motion and then go to the dances and maybe i have some uh this one is female female then i have male dance come back here and maybe i want to put a male dance here and maybe i can pray now this was the same motion it was not not made anything i did a mistake so let's just look for that one and see look how amazing like you just need to drag and drop and make your motion do the same things you want so this is how you use the cutter creator headshot i have shown you the cutter creator i've shown you the headshot I've shown you the skin gen that we are going to use, the skin gen that you can come here and activate it and do some modification, but this character was already good, ready to go character. You can also do some poses, like if you want to put this photo on your, um, let's say maybe you want to pose this, this photo on your, uh, was, uh, what do we call it? On your um, Instagram or Facebook. You can just create it like this one let me show you how easy it is like that then click this eye here it will open for this you this one so what i just do here is just i come and i say i want to edit this photo i'm sorry because my computer is in german sometime i have to edit this photo and then i have to save it as i add uh, this one and then when i click save so let me just call this on the a key. Uh, a key William. And then save. And now you have your photo saved on your images. You can just check it there. So that's how amazing it is to start getting started with the 3D animation. Now, let's say maybe we want to add like um, a background here on this one here. So we can have so many background, like if I go to my smart color here, you can see I have so like half a studio, half everything. And maybe I can decide to... Before I have to do anything, I have to, let me first of all create a new project and say, no, I don't want to save it for the moment. Let me just make it and then maybe choose one of this one here. And uh, let's see what we have here on top. Exactly, this look a bit good. And now what we are going to do is that we can click like that one. And then now let's go to the Akata creator. Set this character to the icon. Set this character to the icon. And... look where we have and then maybe we can put um, like a, a motion where somebody is talking and let's see whether we have something like alone um, I'm trying to think of the motion where I get a good motion so maybe we have like this one, the mirror motion. And we have this one where the man is sitting and talking. So look amazing, how amazing is this one? 
and now you have your character here so you can zoom to see your character good and maybe this mo the problem with this motion is was not meant for being used in a studio and let's see when we print well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing yeah, a tool so to create like, yeah. 3D animation yes, to render um, animated videos. Eventually, it grew into a very interesting... And uh, like now you can see what I mean. If you can just try to do your own modification and try to re make those hard look good, that's not hard. You just need to click the character, go to the motion, edit motion. No, not that one, but uh, edit motion layer. And maybe you can click this one here and you can move those hearts out the way you want to see them click the other side and do the same thing and then you just create this was just an example so it was not more about me getting inside a show and trying and now when you now start uh pray well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3d animation to render um so and now be because I want to finish this one. If you want to add the camera, like now you can see something here. When I'm doing my animation, I like to keep this one at high because the high is the best one. If your computer is slow, you can use minimum or custom. But my computer is in, uh, big enough to hold this software. Some computers, they are so slow and it will not learn like so many a big file. It will not do a great work. So it is start drawing. So you can just make it custom or minimum to just work good. The other thing is that you, if you want to add the camera, what we do is that we come here and create. And I say I want to create the camera. Now, if I click here, it is on the camera mode. And maybe I can zoom where I want to see my camera. And when I move my head here, like maybe let's say I move my head up to somewhere like there. And maybe move back. Back like that. And then move it again and then maybe move it back and put this one a bit down and now when I go back and pray well it all started back in 2005 so this is just an when we were developing a tool to create 3d animation to, show to render um animated videos to the camera, it eventually it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here. That. Oh, if sometimes when I'm talking, there's a sound with this video, so I'm so sorry. Uh, when I'm just talking, the sound is just going in there. So that's what I'm just saying. So you can just check in everything and try to see. This is a very good software. You can just get started so quick. And you can just do amazing things using this software. And when you're done, you can just upload your video and get started. That's the best thing about using this software. So now I told you I'm just going to show you other uh, uh, software. Like a free software that you can also do the 3D animation is like you have the DAS. You have the DAS Studio and the DAS Studio is free, 100% free. You can do amazing things using the DAS Studio. And the best thing about the DAS Studio is that you can you can do things like uh, the icon or the character creator. But yeah, they say it's good. I also use it to make some character. Like you can come here and make a character like this one here. Let me show you something like when I go to the figure. Maybe I choose. I also choose the Genesis 8 character, which is is very good to use it on the uh, icon or a software like a little agent 3D on whatever and then I go to the hair I just choose this hair here then I go to the material I can just decide to choose one of those materials here well this is just going to work this is a very a very fast and maybe I just go to the word drop and I choose like um, t-shirt and uh, a shot and maybe I just decided to export this one as uh, an FPX. So go to the FPX. 
Uh, this one you have to export it as uh, Autodex FBX and then 3D. So I'm just going to call it, um, uh, what, do I, what do we call it? What do we call it? Um, uh, first, uh, let's just uh, trial. Uh, CC3. So, and then we just need to accept. And then it's just going to be now saved on your be saved. And now if you just want now to bring this character here, it's so this just like you just need to click this one here, click C plus plus, go to where we coded the trial. Let me see where the trial is. The trial. This one here as FBX. Click load. Now let's let's let me show you the magic happening. This is one thing about like this about this software. And I just click advance. I did a video to show you how you can do. It. Just click on my 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 YouTube channel. I'm just going to ask this on channel. Let me just say okay. And soon it's just going to be finished, and then I can show you what I mean. This is amazing software, guys. That's why I tell you. If you just want to start get started with a 3D animation, try those software, man. You are just going to learn so many things here. And you can do amazing things using those softwares. And I promise you, you never regret because you can also start making your own character. Now look how this color look like. So beautiful character, like amazing. Then you can just change the clothes make this character like how the shoes like you just want to put let me just go like because i have some shoes here let me just go to my shoes and maybe i choose some profession shoes let's see which shoes we have here like we have the basketball a canva uh, like this one exactly and then just click just wait for a minute and then see magic happening Look now, you already have the shoes for this character. That's how amazing it is to get started. That was the Daz. Daz is also free. You can download download Daz free. I've done a video of download Daz. Daz is free. You can get it. It's pro, free, everything. Check on it on the website, just like Daz Studio 3D. And then you can do it. The other software I also use, we call the Breda. Breda is also free. Breda, you can use it to make the 3D animation. Just click general. And you also you can use Breda to make some 3D animation. Breda is totally free, but you also need to invest your time to learn Breda. Like the things you are doing here with the, uh, this one is an, the, with the icon, you cannot do them with the Breda. You just need to do, you to invest your time to know how to do those things. So those are the software that you can also choose to do that. Now, the, why do you have to choose the 3D, and, uh, the 3D animation software? The first thing I showed you is like you can make your own uh, animation video. Like you can just come here and ladder, ladder the video, and then you can ladder this video at a very MP4 high quality, like also in 4K, and then upload it to your um, to your YouTube channel or whatever. The other thing is like if I just click my character, I can also be able to add some voice. Like I can come here and add, like I choose the audio. Maybe I have one of the audios which I don't use. Like maybe, let me see. Uh, we have some audio. Just need to come here and click MP3 Lobo. And then just click MP3. And now if I pray. <laughs> That's all the audio that you add. It's so simple. It's just like that way and just adding some audio. You can do so many things like just take your time. Look at my video because I've done so many videos about the icon. Do what we can do with the icon and try to become creative on your own way because there are so many things. Those things I cannot show you within this one hour of you getting started with the 3D animation. The other good thing is that if you just make your cutter like the cutter made and you want to sell them online, you have the sketch pub. You can just upload it to the sketch pub, start making money, start selling your own characters. And that is also a very amazing thing. So 
I don't know what to say because I've tackled so many things with this video. And I also not I did not think that I'm, I was just going to finish my one hour of me. Try to show you how you can get started with the 3D animation and start making your own character. And if I can just show you like whatever I showed, I showed you the first of all, I just uh, I invested time to show you the character creator software, which is the 3D character creator software. I showed you the cartoon animator, which is a 2D, mostly the 2D character creator. And the good thing also you can use it with After Effect, like you can see, you can use it with After Effect and now make your own cartoons. But you don't do make good animation like this. So those one they look more for human realistic characters. You can also I told you that you can also make this one like for the games character. You can make one if you just want to start making a game character. You can just convert it, which is just one click convert your character. And also did a video where I just showed you like how to convert a game character and just use it. And again, what is just going to happen is that you can um, send this on dialect. You can uh, send this on to the Maya. Like you can come here and just say you want to export as an FBX. Send this on to Maya, 3D Max, Unit 3D, Allel Agent, Motion Builder, Breda, Cinema 4D, and Cinema 4D R19. Or you can also set it to the like the way we did if you just want to set it to the Marvel design where you can just make a suit which you not hard out because I already have my own suit that I just need to go to, to the internet try to look for the texture that I want to make the suit the way I want to see it that for me is much easier than just going to the Marvelers making a suit then you just have to come and invest time and start making this suit look the way you want so the other thing is that the animation was so easy like we just went to the icon and we just made it like the same way so the other software here i have here before i add up is this one called the 3d exchange this one we have what we call if we just go we call the maximum maximum is where you get some motion free motion we call the maximum 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 um i did a mistake so let's let's just say maximum only download click that maximum and then we go to the maximum and in maximum you can get like so many um animation you can get like uh so many like everything you can also get some characters but those characters don't send them to the any software dialect because they have some limitation so we just use this software here which you have also to buy it and then you just need to upload it here and you can just apply it to the icon it's just a matter of seconds or some minutes and then it's done if you just have to do this work manually you invest time and it take you like if you just want to do the animation then you take the hard way to do it i promise you you get bored bored to do everything and you not finish the project that you want to do so the best thing try to look for the software which they are easy for you to use the software that you can um use them to make your own videos uh login let me just log in uh so the i think uh so let me just log in with the google and um, another account because i think this one here so um uh login I think this one you have to ask me to do some on my phone. No, there was no message sent on my phone. And this is now where you get so many motions. This is where you get so many characters. If you don't have to, to go to buy the characters, you can just go to the Maximo. Maximo is a good software. I like it. It's, it's to belong to the Adobe. And they are, everything here is free. Like... You don't have to buy anything you see like they have so many motions here that they are showing you here you just need to upload any character you can just upload any character do some motion that you want and then when you're done just download this character if you just click here you just have the fbx which is commonly used and i i think i did a video where i tried to explain what is the difference between fbx and obj you can just check in my video they have done already that video in t post which is commonly used and then just download and then you can just bring this uh, here 
on the 3D XH, the D XH we have to convert this connector to be able to be used on the um, Icron. And then when you have it on the Icon now, you can export it to the as an FBX to, to the Breda, um Cinema 4D or any other software. So uh, I don't think that I'm just going to go any other further, but to thank you guys for watching this video hope you that you like it hope that you learned something and if you have a question don't forget to comment below on my comments and if you feel that whatever i did was good just don't forget to like my video i'll be so happy about it and i, I just try to answer all the comment which they are commenting on my on my page and i don't know what to say than to thank you guys for taking your time to watch this video that was just one hour of you getting started with 3d animation and I don't know what to say again than to thank you guys for everything. So let me just uh, say bye for now. And don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification button for you to get more notification. And if you have any question or if you just want to, to see me doing something, just tell me. I'm just going to do it for you. So bye for now, guys. And hope to see you next on my video. Bye for now.